Hi, I'm Quill West and I've been helping faculty to adopt open education resources in their classes for several years. I often hear from librarians and other people who want to practice open education that searching for materials can be daunting. I agree. There are many repositories and lots of wild places on the web to find openly licensed materials. However, I want to empower people to understand that searching for OER isn't any more or less frustrating than searching for materials for any research paper. The success of a search for open materials lies more in the process for identifying information needs than in the actual search itself. Any good reference librarian can tell you that a successful research interaction starts with a good understanding of the student's information need. This tutorial shows the process for finding open materials that I use at Pierce College. This process is always evolving and I encourage you to share your own process if it works more effectively for you. We begin with first contact which probably comes after the Open Education Advocate sends a promotional email or holds a professional development event. In our story, Emma, an instruction librarian who teaches an information literacy course, has heard about open materials and is asking for help finding materials for her course. Full transcripts, including all of the emails in the video, are available via the website. Use our text as much as you would like. Okay, where to begin this email? I'm really hoping that we can meet sometime. I'm not satisfied with my textbook. It's, it's becoming outdated and isn't relevant for students anymore. I've heard of your work. I know you work with other faculty with open resources. So I'm hoping that we can talk sometime soon. great that Emma wants to adopt open resources for Info 101. Now I just need to tell her the process and set up a template for her. So I'm going to set up a course template and I'm going to make sure that I link it in the email so she has it. And I'm going to make sure that we set up a meeting time that gives her a couple of days to review the outcomes in her course. So I'm going to visit the course catalog and grab the outcomes. And then I'm just going to make sure that she has this information about how to proceed. Hopefully she'll have time to meet this week so I can get my schedule in order. Emma and I met a couple of days ago and I've had a chance to do some searching and I sent her that open textbook but I need to make sure that she knows the process for what's gonna happen next because I don't want her to forget about the process and because I wanna make sure that I'm holding up my end of the deal and if she has any questions, I wanna answer them now. So I'm gonna send her just a reminder of the steps we've already done and what I'm hoping she'll do next. And hopefully that means that we'll both have a good interaction with this one. I'm not going to put a timeline on this email because we talked about it in our meeting, but it's probably a good idea for me to record the time that she wants to work on this. I'll put it in my project management stuff. standardized template to keep track of the course development. In a lot of ways, this process is about a search and about the course design, and my template reflects that. Please feel free to adapt and adopt the template for your purposes. It is linked on the website. Be sure to watch the next video to hear the first meeting between Emma and I.